I'm in Antarctica to explore a tale of two penguins. One, the native chin strap, which has evolved for this climate and this climate only. The other, the Gen 2, an arrival that's moving in in higher and higher numbers. I'm joining a group of scientists to examine human impacts on this most remote area of the world. Why should anyone care about the chin strap penguin? Well, this cute little animal is a warning to the rest of us that immense changes are taking place. And if they can't survive, then who can? Gentoos are really expanding all over the Antarctic Peninsula region. They're a penguin that you find usually further north. They're up in the Falklands and Argentina and other places like that. But as the climate is changing down here, we're seeing Gentoo populations expand all over the place. The chin strap penguin, it's a specialist. It's a sign of just how biodiverse the world can be. It's the one that's struggling. The numbers are down an enormous amount. On the other hand, the Gen 2 penguin, which is a generalist, which can survive in much warmer conditions, that can eat just about any kind of food. They're thriving, they're moving in where the chin straps have moved out or declined. One scientist compared the Gen 2 to a pigeon. It's the bird that can survive anywhere. What the scientists are concerned about is that we are moving towards a world where you have more of these generalists, but far less variety. So there are climate winners and climate losers. And they say this is like the canary in the coal mine. A penguin in the Antarctic is telling us of the dramatic changes that are taking place over a far wider area. It's only 200 years since a human being even set eyes on the Antarctic. For the first hundred years, the Antarctic's wildlife was decimated. Many whales were hunted almost to extinction. Seals and penguins were slaughtered for their oils. And there was competition for the resources of the Antarctic. But in the last 50 or 60 years, there have been regulations, there have been international agreements, there have been measures to protect what's left. And these have worked. It sounds like a lot more than were there previously. I think the lesson for me from the Antarctic is a positive one, which is that when humanity comes together, we can achieve incredible things and we can overcome what we have done wrong in the past.